Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a self-tanner review, which I haven't done in a really long time. It's probably been about a year since I reviewed a self-tanner. My last one was on the Fake Bake Flawless self-tanner, which I absolutely love, but I've been trying out a new one that I really like recently, so I wanted to share my thoughts with you guys. I think the self-tanner is going to be great for this time of year because we're just coming out of winter and everyone's skin is really dry and stuff from the winter time, at least mine is. So this one has been great. And this is the Tanceuticals CC Color Correct Self-Tanning Body Lotion. And I have mine in dark. They also have a light too if you are super fair. This also comes with a mitt, which makes it a whole lot easier to apply. And I don't get it like on my hands or anything. Um, so this is supposed to be like a CC cream, kind of like the ones you get for your face where they also like correct your skin tone and they help hydrate your skin like a moisturizer and then they also add color. So it's the same concept but actually for a self tanner. So on the back it says our luxurious CC self tanning lotion gives you a beautiful natural long lasting tan without the sun or tanning beds. It says it doesn't give you an orange color, it's infused with acai berry, mango butter and vitamin E to moisturize, repair and firm your skin. Um, it also has a fresh coconut scent. I definitely noticed the scent. It doesn't smell like a self-tanner or anything. I've really been liking the self-tanner. I think that it definitely gives me good color. I get really good color payoff. It's pretty much the same color payoff as the Fake Bake. Um, you can build this up. If I apply two layers in a row, I get a darker color. I haven't tried doing this like two nights in a row, but I might try that out this time and then let you guys know how that works for me. Um, but I've been using it probably for like two months now and I've really been liking it. Um, the main thing that I like about this one compared to other self tanners is it lasts a really long time and it fades nicely. So I can get seven days completely out of wear with this one and most self tanners on me really start to fade by like the sixth and the seventh day. I really have to take it off. This one looks good by the sixth and the seventh day. It's starting to fade a little bit. I'm definitely not as dark but I do feel like it looks a lot better and I don't look like scary or anything. Because with the Fake Bake, it definitely fades on me pretty quickly. I can only get like five good days of wear out of it. It has good color, but it definitely fades. This one I still have pretty good color, especially on my chest area. That is one problem that I always have with self tanner is I can never keep it tan for very long. I don't know if it just, I don't know, maybe that skin comes off as much as like your face does because I know self tanner fades really quickly on your face. Um, but I always notice my chest would fade fast. But this one, my chest still looks really dark by the seventh day, which is just awesome because especially when I'm wearing foundation that matches the dark self tanner color, I don't want to have to use a lighter one by the end of the week. So that's been awesome with this one. The only downside to this one, for me at least, is that it is clear, so you can't see exactly where you still need to apply it. So if you're not that experienced with self-tanner, you're going to have to be really careful to make sure you completely cover everything evenly. Because a lot of self-tanners have a color guard in them to where you can see where you still need to blend it, or if there's an area where it's really clung to a dry patch, you'll know to kind of go over that and remove some of that self-tanner before it dries. Um, and you can also see like if you've missed a spot and how evenly it's applied. So this one is clear. So I'll show you what the lotion, or it's not completely clear. It actually comes out. It looks like it has like a little bit of a um, yellow color to it, but it doesn't, you can't see any color on your skin. So it's not clear, but it actually does go on clear, but it looks a little bit yellow like in the thing. So when it comes to a color guard versus a clear self tanner, it's really just personal preference. Some people don't like the color guard because it does come off on your sheets or if you like to wear your clothes after you apply it, which I personally like to do it at night so I just go straight to bed, which I really recommend doing. But if you are someone that likes to do it in the morning or go throughout the day with your clothes on, then a color guard will rub off on your clothes and it also always comes off on my sheets. So this one does not have the color guard in it. Like I said, it goes on clear, so I don't have any problems on my sheets or anything. I don't even notice that I slept with it on or anything like that. Um, this also, it seems to stick to my skin pretty good when I go to sleep. Like I don't wake up with any crazy lines from like where my arm was bent or something. But it does take a little bit longer to dry than my Fake Bake one because that one's a spray. Since this one is a lotion and it's a lot more hydrating, I do have to wait like an hour for it to completely dry before I go to bed. So I just apply it before I go to bed. I kind of walk around with just like a loose t-shirt on until it's completely dry. Sometimes I've went straight to bed and that's when I've woken up with like weird lines and stuff from where my body like was creased or something um, so definitely make sure you let it dry um, it is really good like I said if you have dry skin because it is really hydrating but you want to make sure that you remove it on any areas that tend to get drier so for me I like to put on a lotion or a really thick hand cream before I apply this to my hands because I always have issues with self tanner on my hands this one does a really good job because it is so hydrating and stuff on my hands like I don't have 
crazy dark hands afterwards, which is nice. It seems to really work well on my hands compared to some other tanners. But I still go over it with like a damp cloth. Like I go over my knuckles, I go over my wrist and like the knuckles up here and my nails and stuff just to remove any excess so that way I don't wake up with super dark areas. Um, I also go over my elbows and I have a whole video on how to self tan tricky areas so that really covers like your hands and your elbows and your feet and that sort of thing. So if you want to check that out, I'll have more details about that in that video. Um, but that's, I have to make sure I'm really careful with that one since I can't see if it's clinging because it is clear. I have to make sure I do go over those areas even though I can't really see it. Um, that way it doesn't end up darker and stuff from the dry areas. I've tried it with using the mitt and also without. When I didn't use the mitt, I feel like I used less product, like I didn't have to keep applying so much product because the mitt does absorb some of it, but it does help you apply it more evenly. Um, I liked it better with my gloves, but the color was not as dark at all. I think I used less product with the gloves and that made it not come off as dark. So if you are someone that wants a really dark color, definitely recommend using the mitt. I find I use more product with this and it definitely goes on a little bit smoother just because it blends it out better and stuff. But um, it fits pretty soaked in my hand. Some people have problems with mitts like sliding around on their hand. This one fits really nicely. And I love using a mitt for when I do my hands because I can just literally go over my hand and then switch it to the other one and then go over this hand. It's a lot easier than using gloves and having to take them on and off and figure out how you're going to tan the other hand. Um, I talk about that in that video that I did on how to self tan tricky areas. I use gloves in that one so you can, if you prefer to use gloves, you can check out that video for that. So overall, I really liked this. I think it is very hydrating. It's great for people with dry skin. It is cruelty free, which is a plus, and it has a lot of soothing ingredients and stuff if you're sensitive to some products. This is on sale right now on their website for around $25. It's originally $32, so that's a great price. It's definitely cheaper than a lot of self tanners out there. So if you're interested in trying it out, I will definitely have the link for you guys down below. I also have like a short write-up review on my blog, just kind of a summary with some before and after pictures. So if you want to see that, I'll have the link for my blog post in the description box below this video. So I'm going to have before and after so you can see like how dark it was. I also took a picture at the end of seven days before I removed it yesterday. So if you want to see like how it looked, um, I did have a little bit of like wearing right here on the inside of my elbow. So I just snapped a picture of that and how it looked on the seventh day. So you can see that I do still have a good color and it's still pretty even. I have not really tried to build up a super dark color just because I'm not really wearing shorts and stuff yet. But in the summertime, I will definitely be trying it out with that self tanner and really trying to get a dark color. But so far, I've been really pleased with the color that I've gotten with just one application or like two applications in a row. So if you guys have tried out this self tanner, definitely let me know in the comments down below because I would love to hear your thoughts on that. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone. I see is a Tarte Charmed Lip Surgeons. I love these lip surgeons. I have one of them in like a little sample size. I got another box and I absolutely loved it. So this is awesome. This is in the shade.